All right, guys. So right now, uh, we're about to go to the bike. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, bike riding at the, on the BMX, and I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I just want to give a shout out to the homie Arturo Ruiz from uh, Chicago. What's up, homeboy? There's just a little shout out. And well, let's get this day started, homies. Let's go. Show. All right, guys. Like I said, we're gonna be uh, going towards this boulevard. I'm doing a 10 mile bike ride. Get this workout in. You guys are all having a wonderful day. And you fire up these legs, man. I'm a, I'm a little cold. I'm gonna warm up my body first. All right, guys. I just did a new, uh, new angle or new, a little bit lower of a uh, chest mount. I just positioned a little bit lower. I don't know if I see a little bit more of my bike. I'm not sure, but maybe like right here, you guys can. But I don't know about this position. But let me know down in the comments. If I should go a little high with it or a little bit more lower. I think right now it's like at midway. So let's get this 10 miles in today, Sunday. Easter weekend, so let's get it early in the morning. So I guess here we're gonna go with traffic. And the only bad thing about this is that this street doesn't have a sidewalk. So I'm gonna be having to go on the road with traffic. There's a bike lane, but after I get to the roundabout, it's just on the street. All right, so I'm gonna conserve my energy. Okay, we're about to get to uh, this uphill. Finally making it to the the top of this this hill, and that's how we're gonna be going downhill for a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. I haven't been on a bike in a week, and I can feel it now. I said I'm gonna be more consistent on riding my bike every day, but just the weather isn't letting up, but luckily now the weather's nice, it's starting to change. So it's good weather not to ride. But, I'm putting a little bit not too bad, but I'm gonna keep on pushing through. 
I'm not sure what mileage we're at, probably like at two miles, maybe a mile and a half. I'm not sure yet, but we're about to get these 10 miles, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I don't, give, I don't give out on you guys. There's an uphill coming up, so I thought that light. So we're gonna push through. I guess I had to walk my bike on this one because this is a pretty steep little climb. And now we're walking. We're almost making it to the top of this so we can ride it back down. Shoo! Do a quick water break, but we're on it now. Let's get it. Ah. Come on, go on the road. Pretty fast. Oh shit. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh scroll dead. Alright guys, I think we're about to hit, make it to the 5 mile marker, so once we do that, we're going to go back, that should be uh, 10 miles, so we're almost, I want to say I don't have my phone on me, it's on my backpack, but uh, I want to say I looked it on the maps, and I want to say this uh, intersection over here, it's the uh, 5 miles, but I can't confirm that yet, I'm going to have to check when I get home, hopefully it was. So we're almost about to get to it. Alright guys, so I think this corner right here, it's the uh, five mile mark right here, so now we're going to head, head back, oh there's a bunch of water right here, we're going to head back, I'm just going to hit it, I'm going to turn, bust the U real quick, and that'll be it for this 10 mile bike ride, so it's right here, and then we're going to head back. Alright, so I just crossed over to the other side of the street and I'm heading back. Oh. Alright, guys, I have to hit it off the sidewalk. There's some dogs up there. I feel like getting chased. Alright guys, now we're going back and battling this uphill again, so luckily my body's already warmed up, so I'll be good. I'm going to go slow, but pushing through. Time to walk the bike now because it's getting a little hard to pedal. Uphill, we're going. All right, guys, once I get to this, the top of this hill again, uh, there's a light down at the bottom. I'm going to see if I can wait for it up here on top. Once it turns green, just go for it and try to right cross that light intersection. Hopefully, it don't turn orange or red on me. So, let's get up there. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm going to wait for it. 
Hopefully it turns green anytime now. Okay, never mind. Let's wait here for a little bit. And hopefully I make it all the way down. No, I didn't. Alright, so we're gonna stop here. You guys have to be alert at all times. See what I almost, that guy almost hit me. I was on the road and he tried to go right in front of me. Luckily I was, I didn't have no music in my ears or nothing. I was paying attention. So I ended up swerving around him. There was another car that was, that also crashed right in front of me, the white car. But she didn't see me either. But, all right guys, I just found these uh, Christmas stickers, I believe. I'm gonna see if I can stick them up on my handlebars right here later on. Found them right here on the floor. I had to come back for them though because I saw them. I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> All right, guys, so we're about to we'll make it to the hill, the top of the hill. But we finally made it to my daughter's high school right here. This is the high school she attends. It's a lot different than from California high schools because out in California, they're open. And these are like pretty much, to me, I don't know, they look like jails. They're pretty much got floors. And uh, yeah, I've never been inside the schools, these right here. But I don't know, they just don't like them. I get, I don't know why they do it like maybe because of the storms that come through here. They don't want children to be outside maybe. But I noticed that all the schools here in Texas or in North Texas, they're pretty much buildings. And uh, they got to go up flights, flights of stairs and go down. Yeah, but it's it's kind of weird. I'll show you guys the front, the front of the school how it looks. All right, mira amigos, así lucen las escuelas aquí en el norte de Texas. A mí se me figuran con un poco prisión. No sé ustedes qué piensen. Allá en California, este, yo creo que están con plantas bajas y todo abierto, distribuido. Y aquí parecen cárceles, no sé. Está bonita, pero a la vez como que nada. A ustedes qué piensan, comenten en los, en los comentarios. ¿Qué tipo es? Cómo son sus escuelas allá en donde vivían los estados, en los estados, acá en los Estados Unidos o en México, en cualquier parte del, del mundo, comenten cómo son las escuelas de high school ustedes, de ustedes, ahí están las luces en las de acá de Texas. Ahí mismo, vámonos. Nosotros lo vamos a dar aquí para la derecha, vamos a ir en la calle, vamos a ir que no vengan cargos. Oh, por aquí no hay. No hay para bicicletas, ¿eh? Pura banqueta. Mira, no es como no, la gente no pone atención cuando va a, este, a dar vuelta. People don't look both ways before they, they start turning those intersections. They just want to go ahead and go. They got scared. <laughs>
Alright guys, we almost made it to our starting point. Woo! That was a workout guys, I ain't gonna lie. I hope, I hope it was 10 miles, 5 going and 5 coming. So hopefully I did do the, what I was expecting to do in this video. Just come out here and pedal. Woo! Man. Nice weather too. It's cloudy. Nice and cool. I also brought a jacket out just in case. I was I was hot at first when I put it on. When I was riding for a little bit, and now I kinda with the sweat and I'm cooling off a little bit, so it feels nice having a jacket on. But let's get the last how like half a mile in. Let's get it. Alright guys, thanks for uh, coming with me along this ride. Uh, it is the end of the video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Compare is out. 10 miles in. Let's get it homies. Show!